you, Jason Reitman, that film that you did was absolutely brilliant. Yeah. I, I love, you, you, you should work with him again. I'd be, I'd love, I love to, yeah. yeah. Jason's always got something cooking. Yeah, he was good. I like I said, congratulations on the movie, by the way. Uh, I wanted to ask you when, you, when you took on this role originally, and like, do you think about the real Marines that are going to go out and actually watch this film? In the back of your mind, are you like, Nervous, wondering if, if did, I, did I do this right? Am I, am I portraying the Marines correctly? Is that something that you go, go through when you're like, working on the role? Very much. It's very important that we all are technically accurate, that we psychologically are accurate, that we uh, do our best to portray the Marines. Um, we had a lot of help from the Marines. They gave us equipment. They trained us. You know, all the helos, um, all the um, the aircraft, the the bases was all from the Marines. You know, when I was working with the Marines, when they were in the movie with us, you know, they were watching us and I wanted to look like a Marine. I wanted to be with the Marines. So I would hang out with them always. Um, and, uh, you know, you know, they would salute me and, you know, cause I, or not salute me cause I was, a, I was a staff sergeant, but they thought that I was a sergeant and all that sort of stuff. So it was, it was good. It's important. I hope they liked the film. Would you look over after a take and go? Did I get that right? Or well, something? if I saluted or something like that, I would look over and, how was that? How's that? Yeah. Your money. And then one guy said it was crap, and I, and I, I busted him down to PFC. <laughs> now, uh, let me say this. Uh, working on this uh, movie of this, like, you know, this large scale, and, like, you're acting with elements that really aren't there, like CGI, aliens, aircraft. Is that, like, as an actor, what do you take into mind, like, thinking, okay, I have to act like I'm freaked out here. Like, what are you really thinking about? Well, I'm thinking about, you know, being killed. I'm thinking right. about what I'm supposed to be thinking about, which is some force, whatever it is, I don't care what it is, it's trying to kill me. And when that happens, you know, you freak out. The great thing about this movie is that we, we filmed it in Los, uh, Louisiana. We shut down freeways, we shut down entire towns, right. you know, w buildings were blown up, helicopters were smashed into freeways, Humvees were turned over. You'd hear the sound of 50 cal in the background going <laughs> <laughs> You know, so if you just kind of close your eyes and don't look up into the sky, you're at war. That sounds awesome to me. Yeah, oh, it was, it was, <laughs> it was <laughs> I was going down and at three o'clock in the morning on the top of a Humvee shooting a 50 cal. I don't know how many rounds I shot, thousands probably that night. And I thought if anybody didn't know what was going on, they would think that we were being invaded. <laughs> so that would be cool. That'd be cool. Now I was I was reading that you had. I mean, this is something I read in the press notes that you had like a quote unquote love hate relationship with your helmet. What, what's up with that? I don't I was know. Like, that's uh, what I heard what, yesterday. Yeah, that's what you heard. So you actually didn't say that. Or, uh, well, I mean, uh, uh, you know, my <laughs> helmet. You know, all my equipment. I had a love hate relationship with. I mean, it was we filmed this movie in the middle of summer in, in Louisiana. Um, you know, the straps are always going everywhere, but. Uh, <laughs> No, I, I, I loved my helmet. I loved my equipment. I loved my M4. You know, we, we got to know our equipment really, really well. We went through a lot of pair of gloves and, and boots. It was, it was a pleasure to put on my uniform every single day. That might be a bit of a deeper question, but you know, your character in the film is, he's going through this weird time where you know, he lost his troop in his last tour. And he's dealing with this, you know, this stress that everybody around him thinks that it was his, his fault. Now, could you equate something like that into your real life where like maybe like, you had done something that people thought differently, even though they weren't in the situation, oh, and you yeah. had to like basically like defend yourself. Oh, look at the just take well take his his job and then my job, and what happens if I sink a movie? What happens if the movie doesn't perform and people blame you, and then you have the weight of that on your shoulders, mm -hmm. you have the money on your shoulders. So, I mean, who in whatever job anybody does, they can always understand or ha um, uh, can empathize or sympathize with you know pressure, with um, blame, shame, all that sort of stuff. Um, now this happens to deal with a lot the loss of life, so right. it's a little different. And I'm sure there are a lot of COs, a lot of sergeants, captains, lieutenants coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan that have, you know, the weight uh, of death on their shoulders, mm -hmm. and um, it's a heavy, heavy burden. Um, and obviously, if you're going back into um, battle, you don't want that to happen again. And they're wrapping me, but I just want to say one thing. You know, you walk away from a film like this or a film like Dark Knight, and some, these, some of these scenes have that so emotional on, on you as a person, especially that scene in Dark Knight with you and Ledger in the hospital mm -hmm. and scenes in this film. When you walk away from set, like, you know, like from the Dark Knight, that scene that day, how do you, how do you get back into your, to Aaron Eckhart, like to your normal self? Well, that was a, that was a, a good day with Heath because, um, 
Heath and I really worked that out at the beginning of the day. We didn't know it was going to happen. You know, I was in a hospital bed, and Heath started walking around me and doing his thing, and then I would just kind of put my hand up like this, and he would do, and we started dancing together. <laughs> and it was a hard day. It was a long day. At the end of the day, Heath and I were walking off set, and he put his arm around me, and he said, that's why we're actors. <laughs> Same thing with this movie, though. You walk, we walk. Oh, yeah, with, uh, with the scene with, um, with uh, the, the uh, Corporal Lockett. Mm. You know, when I have to tell him to rattle off the numbers or with the kid or, you know, with um, Bridget Moynihan and the movie does a fantastic job or um, Lieutenant Martinez, Ramon. Uh, there's a lot of emotion in this movie. It's high stakes and it feels real, which uh, I really enjoyed. Congratulations. I love doing the film. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Yeah. Man, seriously. You too.